Get on the train Before it leaves the station The truth train is coming Gonna run them down Run them down Hello there folks Alright, so Some of you may have heard Mr. Capaldi recently Talking about Coming up with one question for Ken Kratz So apparently he's been chatting And and he has a chance to ask Kratz One question Well There's only one for me, there's one main question that I would want to ask King Kratz. And I ask it not in a derogatory way, but I would ask it in a frank, genuine way. Because I feel, I've always felt that it was disingenuous that he was accusing the documentary of being one-sided and, 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 and non-factual and all the things, all the claims that he was making... But when you, when you look at the even you know when you look at the claims he was making right after MAM one came out, he was claiming it was that it was you know one sided and 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 wasn't telling the truth. But then he, he answered with telling his own his own set of lies or at least one in particular here that I'm going to point out. And he told this particular lie in an attempt to discredit the documentary. But it was a lie. So he was choosing to use lies. The first thing he thought of when MAM1 came out was to answer it with a lie. And I always thought that was interesting. So my question, my question to King Kratz, um, that I would that I would want to hear an answer from him on, is, and I have to give a little bit of background here. We know at trial that King Kratz explains and understands very well that sweat does not have DNA in it necessarily. It can have epithelial cells, but that's not always a, a given. It can it can be just sweat with no cells in it. So he demonstrates at trial that he knows that, and he knows that sweat itself doesn't have DNA in it, right? So, what, the reason why I bring this up is because it illustrates that before Making a Murderer came out, it illustrates that he knew the difference. That he knew it wasn't the sweat, but that the sweat itself could have epithelial cells in it, and that could provide DNA. He, I, Like I said, he it demonstrates he knows this at trial, so it's undeniable. He can't try to say he didn't know, or that... He he thought sweat had he thought sweat had he can't he can't say oh I was mistaken I thought no he 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 thought exactly right that sweat doesn't have DNA in it okay when MAM one comes out he comes out with an email and one of his big claims that he kept making was that in order to believe that the cops had planted Stephen Avery's DNA. You have to imagine them carrying around vials of Stephen Avery's sweat. Okay? I know why he said this. But, and well, here, here's why. He, may, he says that because, think about how ridiculous it sounds that officers would somehow be carrying around vials of Stephen Avery's sweat. Right? That's, I mean... That's a pretty far out, you know, scenario. And he knew that, and that's why he said it. But the fact of the matter is that there is no guarantee that sweat would have DNA in it. So by representing it that way, it shows his own dishonest nature and his own desperation to discredit MAM. But in doing so, in, in calling them liars and, and misrepresenting the truth, he did exactly that in his attempts to discredit them so I've always wondered why Ken Kratz if you understood that sweat itself doesn't have DNA in it and you were upset and talking about how MAM got it wrong why did you use that why did you try to why did you try to use sweat DNA and all that why why did you choose to answer what you felt was the filmmaker's disingenuosity with your own that's my question and i would love to hear the answer to it so 
Oh, just wanted to make this one real quick for a real quick upload. Uh, I know, you know, Mr. Capaldi has been real fired up about this and asking and talking about this and chatting about this with people and everything. But I just wanted to get it out there. You know, my question for Ken Kratz is really to just, I want to know why you chose to combat what you viewed as the, vil the filmmaker's disingenuosity with your own brand of it. And how how is that supposed to give you any kind of credibility because the first thing you did when making a murderer came out was tell a big lie to discredit the filmmakers you couldn't do it with something true you couldn't just stick to the facts you had to be disingenuous and talk about sweat DNA even though you knew it doesn't exist yeah so that would be my question for Ken Kratz. Hey, I hope you guys had fun with this. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. We'll see you.